Hi family. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get this straight. If you haven't already liked and subscribed to my channel, at least please share this channel. Press the thumbs up key for me, please. So, I don't know if it was a subscriber or just some random person, but I was sent a question. And I'm going to read the question to you guys, okay? It says, you're a beautiful black woman. I have a question for you. Do you make any positive content for blacks? You speak the truth, but it seems to be always from a negative point of view. So when I received this question, I automatically ignored it. But then I thought, maybe this is a question that I should answer. So I decided to respond to this question because it's actually a good question. When people know you to be truth telling, when people know you to be a truth telling type of person, some of them get scared to do or act negatively in your presence or in any place within your reach. And others just love that you are there to frankly tell the truth, even if it hurts. They at least know that someone actually sees the true colors of what they are doing and is indeed telling them or others around them. And that's a good trait. And people need to hear the truth, good or bad. People need to hear the truth. That's my opinion. Some people do not like to hear that blunt truth all the time. Even if, it, even if it's a belief more than fact. That's how some people are. People love to hear positive, the good, the soothing words only. If I care enough for these people, I'll be quiet and only tell happy stories. And if it really doesn't matter, which it doesn't, I'll continue to speak my mind. There is so much of our lives wasted being nice and almost half of our energy goes into not rocking the boat. It's utter nonsense. And there's a better way. I call a spade a spade. I talk about certain situations in life. <coughs> Excuse me. I talk about certain situations in life. I speak on celebrities, uh, history, past and present. I speak on trending topics. I have my opinions on certain topics and issues that black people face. Certain black people want to remain ignorant. They don't want to hear the truth. This damn braid keeps falling in front of my face. If I find a black person doing something positive for blacks, trust me, you will hear about it. I've talked about Q Butter. He has a school for black children. I've spoken about Omarion and how he represented himself as a respectful grown man. I gave him his props. I've given props to black men who marry black women. Maybe the guy that asked me this question, maybe you haven't viewed all of my videos. I have plenty positive black news. I'm always fighting for black men and showing them love and support. So to the person who asked me this question, I suggest you do your research on all of my content before you speak on something that you think you know. Either I'm not communicating sensitively enough or I am not telling you what you want to hear. What do you suggest 
is better than straight facts as I see them. What do you suggest? There are a lot of sad truths in this world. I'm not going to sugarcoat it so that you can feel better. The truth isn't unnecessarily negative, except to people who have already alienated themselves from the truth. Lies aren't pleasant. Lies aren't pleasant, except to people who have already embraced lies and built a life around them. You know, the truth sounds like hate to those who hate the truth. People say what they want. People say they want the truth, but subconsciously cannot handle the truth and therefore mislabel me as negative. I'm a truth teller. I repeat, I am a truth teller and I don't give the truth wrapped up in pretty ribbons and paper. I think you need to follow Becky's channel for that. The sword of truth is cruel, but it cuts cleanly and leaves a wound that heals. I'm not a pleasant person. I never said I was a pleasant person, nor do I choose to be a pleasant person. I'm not sweet. I don't wear dresses. I usually don't wear makeup, but I try to put on a little bit for this video because I lost my glasses. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not a sweet, pleasant person. And I don't give a fuck about feelings. I just don't give a fuck about feelings. People who give a fuck about... We're not going to win the war against racism if we have people who's afraid to express themselves and who worries about what other people think and feel. We can't win the war with weak folks. Okay? I'm not weak. I'm not afraid to say what's on my mind. I don't care... If I report news as negative, I, I, I don't care if it's positive. I don't care how you see the news. I'm going to re, I'm gonna report the news and my content as I see fit. I don't give a fuck about your feelings. Excuse me, y'all. I had a, a drink and uh, I'm sweating and it's hot. <laughs> Listen, I feel like my people need to hear the truth. You know, I'm woke. And I need to share what I see. A lot of us aren't woke, so they don't see what I see. What type of person would I be if I see danger but not tell my people because it may seem negative? I say fuck that. The truth is not always pleasant. I will not be silenced by these new Negroes or Massa. You new Negroes want to be docile and just blend in. That's not who I am. I'm going to fight the powers that be and tell the ugly truth. I don't care if it's negative. I don't care if you see it as negative. I'm definitely not a happy slave. I'm not a happy slave. And I'm not going to pretend to be a happy slave. Who the fuck wants to be a happy slave anyway? I will accept you saying my channel is negative. Heck yes. I tell the negative truths black people need to hear it. Maybe this channel isn't for you, Tyrone. Nobody likes a person who always speaks the truth. It can cause many losses, both emotional relationships and also financial jobs. A lot of people will end up hating you. I really don't give a fuck. It's about understanding the reality of the world that we are living in. We live in a world of white supremacy and there's shit that my people need to know. It's negative, so you say, but it's necessary. So I hope I've answered your question. In the spirit of my ancestors, I will speak blinding truth about us as Nubian people. As talented, as spiritual, and great as we are, we have a tremendous amount of work to do if we want to live. There's a separation 
happening among us. Those of us that are awake, becoming awake, are slowly and quietly moving away from the rest who insist on remaining asleep. This disjointment, which I simply call Negro Madness Disease, will either stop just in time for the revolution to begin or it will hinder us in this struggle. I hope this, I hope this harsh but well-intentioned content will cause my people to think, to pause and ask ourselves, do our ancestors want us to be cowardice or do our ancestors want us to continue this fight for freedom? You know what? I bet Harriet Tubman was told that she's negative too. Just like her, I will continue to do what I do. Good night, folks.